Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler. Today we are playing Stormworks Build and Rescue and today we are going to review um, a vehicle I made, a uh, submersible. So let's hop into it and uh, what I have today is um, a mini submarine you would so since uh, I played Subnautica I, I, I really enjoyed uh, driving submersibles and submarines and yes I, I I was looking forward for other games that uh, where you could engage in this activity and uh, not only well they, they are they are all other games uh, like uh, submarine simulators but they are focused in in the World War two for example so I don't enjoy that much so but uh, here we are we have um, in stormworks you can build submarines and the setting is uh, these uh, rescue missions and uh, pretty much you can do a lot of things um, with these uh, vehicles uh, by the way they work as uh, real submarines do so this is one thing that we're going to be uh, looking at how uh, how to make uh, submersibles and submarines work this is a relatively small uh, vehicle so i i've built other uh, submarines that are bigger than this one but this is to th this video is is meant for being like an introduction to submersibles in general so it's uh, relatively small let's uh, go in i w i want to first show what the what it can do and then um, explain how it works so we go through this hatch close it and uh, now so uh, we have uh, three uh, levers here uh, one uh, two of them are for independent uh, controlling of the um, propellers th uh, that we have on the sides and one is for synchronized um, powering of the propeller so that means that it will power both propellers uh, at the same time it works with battery this this uh, vehicle uh, is 100% um, electric so there we go we don't need to start any engine here um, so the, the the vehicle has two um, well you you can see that it has these two big holes uh, on each side and this here is the water level of each hole because currently we are um, we're driving uh, on the water we are not underwater yet and the way we go underwater is that we f have to flood these uh, tanks uh, with water so and this is how real submarines work they have these uh, cham cham chambers <clears throat> in the submarine around the hole that uh, they flood them with uh, sea water and then this makes the submarine sink so currently I can control the propellers so I could I can go underwater right without even flooding the the the, the holes the tanks um, but this is not how it's meant to work right because it will um, well you can you can do I think some if, if you don't need to be underwater uh, that long or I don't know what what you could do with this uh, feature but uh, if you want to perform underwater operations it's meant uh, that you 
flood the, the, the tank so let's do that let me slow a bit ah by the way the the independent one of the uh, advantages of this independent um, controlling of the propellers is that I could uh, turn the I could make the, the vehicle turn very tightly so without uh, traveling forwards right so here I have a propeller in reverse and the other one is uh, a forward so this uh, with this feature I can rotate so the way that the tanks works is that I have uh, some pumps in the in the tanks and the we have this button that will uh, toggle between flooding and drain uh, but currently no pump is working and this is because uh, the this uh, electric brake that controls the pump is uh, off so first we have to turn the the pumps on and here what it's it's um, here we have um, an indicator that says that the that the draining pumps are on so currently they are draining but there's nothing if you see here in this gauge the the it has two numbers uh, a gray number and a red number the gray number that is this uh, white bar here says how how much water can it take this is the capacity of the tank and the zero is how much water it currently has so we have one gauge for each uh, tank now if we um, activate this button then it will start flooding and you can see there how the the uh, red mark is uh, going up and here the indicator says that it, we are flooding so you see now that it starts to uh, to sink and this is how it's meant so for example you could just turn off if you are happy with the current um, uh, let's say floating uh, ability of the of the of the submarine because as you flood the tanks it becomes heavier so here we we are at a certain um, depth and by the way I also have um, a depth indicator here so this is our depth now we are going down but we can go up here um, I, I can control the 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 submarine the submersible in such a way that we can go up if we want so you can go up and down and also we can roll so this is also something I I did with a submersible I have by the way I have a, an artificial horizon here because underwater you can lose uh, perspective of uh, where up and down is so I added this um, artificial horizon here to, to do that so um, anytime I can see if I'm um, if my pitch is upwards if I have a good attitude and if I if I am um, rolling because it can get very uh, dark I have ex external lights like uh, we can just um, look at uh, it, it helps us look uh, what's in front of us so here we have some fish underwater fauna right so here's a swordfish looks like so <laughs> I mean this is this is like Subnautica well I have to say that uh, the, the the team the developers from Subnautica did 
did an awesome job with this underwater environment. So, and I know that it's uh, that uh, the the team from Somnautica handcrafted these underwater environments. It's not like procedural generated. Uh, in Stormworks, we have um, procedural uh, generated uh, features. Not all of it. I have seen that uh, there are certain features that stay the same, but uh, otherwise many other things uh, are procedurally um, placed. So I know that this is hard to do if you were to have like this uh, art style from Subnautica to, to do it procedurally generated. Now we see that we can uh, go um, even if with uh, with. Uh, I'm going to flo flood all of it because even with the the tanks completely flood flooded, um, we we still can go to the surface, and this is important because um, when the time comes to um, to drain the the tanks we will need let's do that we are we're starting to drain but you see here that uh, nothing is changing so but and but the drain pumps are on because the, the indicator tells me so and we are almost at the we're in the bottom of the of the sea right so and the thing is that we need to go up the reason why we cannot drain the, the the tanks is because somehow we don't have access to um, we don't have access to to air. That's the reason why we we, we cannot. Uh, drain the tanks so we have to go up oh I think okay are we going up ah oh, there okay so we need to go up I think we are currently pretty trip. Ah, there we go. Okay, we have a, a good attitude. And here you see that it's still not... Um, so this is uh, something that... Um, yeah, that surprised me from the game. Because of course this is... You will see now that I um, show um, I should show you how it's built. You will understand what I'm uh, saying when I say that it surprised me that that um, you had to um, go to the surface. There, you see now it, they are draining. Now that the, the tanks are, are starting to drain. Soon I will, I will explain why this is a s somehow a surprise. But the cool thing uh, is that there's uh, actual physics going on here. So, it works like um, real-world physics, in many ways. So now we... Uh, okay, we're almost... I don't know why I'm spinning. Okay, ah yes, because I'm... Okay, I have to let go. Okay, so let's uh, turn around. Now that you saw how it works, you see it's the tanks are 
completely drained now. We can shut the pumps down. And we can return to the base. It's a good time because uh, the sun went down. So originally this vehicle was smaller. I had to... Um, I wanted to increase some performances. It was not performing as I wanted to. So I had to increase its length. I want like I wanted to have like this compact really compact um, submersible but I ended up with this vehicle so it's it's hard um, sometimes to to get it's like engineering you you have to take into account many things to make this uh, vehicles performance it's um, the, the 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 complexity of uh, submersibles is that I wanted this vehicle to perform well on water as well as underwater. So this was uh, hard because uh, sometimes um, I had uh, some performances uh, underwater when the tanks were um, were dry. And another performance when they were flooded. Of course, the physics change, and then your vehicle behaves in a very different way. So I wanted to have like the, the best per performance uh, on water and underwater. You can also play with uh, the amount of w water that you put into the tanks. So uh, sometimes it may be that n uh, you you need a certain amount of water and not to flood them entirely to make some operation underwater. It depends on what you're doing. <coughs> so there we go. So now let's um, let's take a look at uh, how this is um, built. So the, here's the vehicle and we can display the, the section. These are, these are the tanks that are being flooded by water, by the pumps, right? <coughs> and if we, uh, I think we get a good view of the pumps here. So I have f um, four pumps in total, two for each tank. There is the way that this works is that I have one pump that um, floods the that floods the 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 tank. Uh, I think this is this one. This one floods the tank, and this one drains the tank so they are like these uh, small compact pumps so if we take a look again we will see that this pump right here this pump is pumping uh, is pumping water when it's on it's popping pumping water into the tank and this uh, port water is, uh, will come out of this port and the pump is taking water as you see from this connection here uh, 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 a pipe goes uh, to the to the pump and it's taking water from this uh, fluid port down here so it takes water from here and dumps it into the tank the other pump that drains the tank I think we better take a look at it sideways by the way this is this feature is really help, helpful in this game uh, in this building um, mode that you can have these cross sections of the vehicle It's really really helpful the developers did a good job here um, for um, usability purposes so 
this is the one that drains the 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 tank so this pump will take uh, water from this port from the bottom of the tank and will suck the 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 water the pump will suck the water and will pump it through these pipes here that comes you see the piping that goes uh, it makes this band here goes up and these are these pumps here and water will be uh, dumped out through this port so this is ho how it works but now comes the the tricky thing that I was saying that I didn't expect that because what happens with submarines is the following the submarines will to go underwater they flood the tanks right but um, the tanks originally are filled with water with uh, sorry with air right so for water to come into a tank air has to come out of it because water cannot go into uh, um, a, a, a volume that is already occupied so the way that real submarines deal with this thing because you could say okay so we we can just open um, some valve and let the 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 air just imagine like um, you have a bottle a bottle full of uh, a, a, an empty bottle uh, I think you or you even a, a, a regular glass whatever container you have experienced this if you put this uh, container in water if you put it like upside down you would have experienced that water cannot go um, into the the bottle when you submerge it in in, in the in water so you have to tilt it when you start tilting tilting the the the, the bottle underwater bubbles start coming out of the uh, of the neck of the uh, mouth of the of the bottle right of the opening and these bubbles are air going out and water filling the, the the bottle so the same thing happens with submarines but the problem is that if you do that if you just uh, imagine that you would open a valve and let the air go out then the problem is how do you uh, drain the tanks again to come uh, over water again to 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 rise uh, to the to the water level so the way that submarines deal with this is that they have air compressors so there are another set of pumps that will pump air into bottles and this air is compressed into those bottles because uh, for the submarine to sink the air uh, has to occupy less volume that than originally so they they are doing two things they are pumping air into bottles and they are pumping water into the tanks when they want to come uh, and they, this is the way they 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 dive uh, this is the way the way that the submarine sinks when they want to come over water again then they will uh, pump this uh, compressed air into the tanks and let the water out so this is what is missing here from this um, submarine or this submersible i don't have any compressed air um <coughs> compressed air um bottles or pumps i don't have anything to compress air so what happens when um, when I'm pumping water into the tanks somehow the air that is that should be here is 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 gone it's like opening a, a valve and the and the air is escaping so th we are under that a scenario a scenario where I don't have compressed air and I don't know um, 
if you can do that in game if you can somehow compress air uh, i haven't seen this <coughs> i'm i'm relatively new to the game um but this surprised me because i was not expecting it of course this is a very simple um uh, arrangement so i knew how submarines work and i was wondering if this would work at all and it and it worked at, at the beginning it worked as expected in that sense that i will flood water into the tank the the, the submarine will sink but then i was wondering uh, where, where is the air going to and how uh, because and this came when i activated the pump to drain the water when i as i show you when you activate the pumps to drain the, the water and you are underwater um the pump won't do its job right it won't pump water out this pump won't won't um won't dump the, the water out so and then i discovered that if uh, if by means of propulsion I went to the to the uh, close to the surface. I don't even have to be on the surface. I have to be close enough. Then it will start pumping out the water. So it's like somehow the the submersible is taking air from the from the environment and it's um, filling the tanks with it. So I'm not sure how uh, in, in the physics of the game how this works but this is in fact what's happening every time I'm close to the surface I can drain the the tanks in if they are flooded otherwise the pump won't work so this is the way to to have uh, to to make submersibles work in this game but it's pretty close to to reality and and I I I don't know if I can stress stress this enough. Um, how cool this is that you can build this uh, type of um, vehicles that work like uh, real submarines do. So it's uh, very very interesting how how this works. So. that's the that's it basically and here uh the i added these uh, rudders to control uh, the way that um because you, your your submersible needs to go up and down and sometimes it needs to roll so for that this type of propeller is very helpful this propeller is attached to a pivot a robotic pivot and additionally I have a rudder to help me with with uh, with the attitude and these other back rudders they help me um, it will let me turn uh, control the jaw of the of the vehicle so um, basically that's it the 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 battery I'm using is this is a big battery this one it's a big electric battery because of course be, the, being the the vehicle electric um it needs um it needs a lot of power so because it rely it relies um only on electric power so that's what occupies a large part of the of the volume in the main body of the vehicle so the and it weights a lot so this is uh, something to take into consideration so this vehicle um, yeah it took me uh, really uh, a relatively long time to, to get it right because it's difficult you have to play with this um, the, the 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 size of the tanks um, if they have because you're you're always playing with this um, principle of uh, uh, floating uh, bodies 
right that the that the if a vehicle you you put uh, if anybody you put on 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 water it w it has this floating um property and the floating property depends on the amount of water that is being displaced so in this case well the size of the tanks are important because they de determine how much water is being displaced but at the same time there is the weight so if you want something to to float the amount of uh, water displaced the weight of this water has to be uh, the same at least uh, of the body you're you're putting in, in water so the tanks displace water but they shouldn't add up much weight to the vehicle so and this is why these um, holes here are hollow right because then they reduce the weight so you have to play with that and it's um and it's hard to 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 get it right and when the the these tanks are flooded then the physics is different because you you see here the center of mass right the center of mass is conveniently placed um in such a way that uh, it's close to the center let's say of, of the vehicle and um and these propellers are also aligned to the to the center of mass this is important because then um, you don't have extra torque um, generated by the by the propellers so if they are um, significantly off the center of mass you you will have like weird rotation effects caused by the by the propeller so all this has to be taken into account okay there are other things to consider like all this wiring stuff um, I think I won't go into those details right now because I, I right now we're just uh, I wanted just to focus on how the submersible works but um, Maybe I will make a, 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 another video explaining in more detail the wiring. I already did a video of um, basic wiring and building of a, of a boat. So I will uh, tell you to check that out if you are interested in that aspect of the game. So I think that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and if so yes help help us uh, like in the video so see you next time I'm Cyber Settler signing off <laughs>